Welcome to North Bay Healthcare. This module will introduce you to our electronic healthcare record, Cerner Power Chart. The module will take about 20 minutes to complete. To log into PowerChart, double click the Cerner SF icon. Double click the PowerChart prod icon. Enter your Cerner username and password, then click OK. If you don't have your username and temporary password yet, call the help desk at 707 646 3098 and they will give you that information. PowerChart will open to the Message Center. Message Center is an inbox for physicians to send and receive communications within PowerChart. On the toolbar, Task is an option that allows you to change your password, refresh your screen, and exit the program. It is not recommended that you use the Suspend option, as it locks the computer so that no one else can use it and then it must be unlocked by the help desk. You can also click on the exit button on the shortcut toolbar to exit. Or click on the red X to exit. You can click on this button to refresh the screen. The Edit option allows you to select, cut, copy, paste, and delete. You can also use keyboard shortcuts Ctrl-C, Ctrl-X, and Ctrl-V. The View option allows you to move between different modules such as Message Center, Case Selection, and Patient List. The Patient option provides a search function for finding patients including recently viewed and new patients. The chart option provides access to the chart functions, including those found on the navigator menu and the clinical calculator. The links option provides quick links to the Cures, CDC, UpToDate, Mayo Clinic, and Physician Resource web pages. You can also launch the clinical calculator from this button. Click on the down arrow to select a formula. Select more equations to see more formulas. Now let's search for a patient record. Click on Patient. Select Search. Enter the patient's last name, first name, medical record number, birth date, sex, social security number, or FIN number. The FIN number is the financial record number and is unique to that patient and in encounter, so it is a good choice if you have that information. Click on Search. Select the patient and encounter to view. The patient record appears. You can also open a patient record from your patient list or by entering the last name or medical record number in this field. The patient name bar is at the top of the patient record. Click on the patient's name to view demographic information. This includes the patient's address, home phone, and language. Click on the location link to view the patient's location in the hospital. 
This page will show the nursing unit and room for the patient. It also shows all of the patient encounters or visits at the top. Click on the Allergies link to view the patient's allergies. This link will display allergies, no known allergies, or allergies not recorded. The Allergies page will show the patient's allergies and information about the allergy. Drug allergies have a green check mark. The FIN number is found on the name bar. On the left side of the screen is the navigation menu. This menu allows you to select different views into the patient's chart. The first option is orders. On this page, you can see all of the orders and order sets that have been placed for the patient. Order sets are called power plans and are listed here. An order set is a group of orders used to standardize and expedite the ordering process for a common clinical scenario. Individual orders are found here and are sorted by categories. Move your mouse cursor over the symbols for an order to see what the symbol means. The summary pages include inpatient summary. Inpatient summary is a single interactive page allowing you to view and access consolidated patient data, including orders, results, radiology, and problem lists. You can customize your view by clicking on the three horizontal lines. This allows you to change the layout, enable drag and drop, select which components to view, or clear the preferences and return to the default view. You can select one, two, or three columns. If you enable drag and drop, you can move the components to fit your workflow. Click on Clear Preferences to return to the default view. The Advanced Growth Chart allows you to chart the growth of an infant or child using CDC and Fenton measurements. Clicking on Allergies takes you to the same page as the Allergies hyperlink. iView INO provides an interactive view into a patient's care in its specified time period. This page is primarily used by nursing staff to enter patient care details. The information is organized into different bands for areas such as tubes and drains, wounds, and intake and output. Form Browser provides access to online forms used by physicians and nursing staff to gather information about a patient's status. These Power Forms are useful summaries of information related to a patient's diagnosis, vital signs, and activities. The Histories page allows you to view the patient's medical, social, and family history. The Family History tab allows you to review information about a patient's family medical history. Click on Add to view the information as a table. Click on the Procedure tab to view scheduled procedures. Click on the Social History tab to review information about home environment, drug and tobacco use, and other factors. The Immunization Schedule allows you to view a patient's immunization and provides a predictive schedule of the patient's future immunizations. The Documents page allows you to view documents for a selected patient. Right-click on the title bar to change the date range for the documents. Select Change Search Criteria.
change the date range, or select document count, such as the last 100 documents, or admission to current to see documents since the patient's admission. You can sort by type, status, date, performed by, the author, or encounter. Double click on a folder to open the folder and see the documents. You can also sort by author, performed by. Double click on the document to review. MAR Summary is the Medical Administration Record Summary page for medication given on a dose by dose basis. The gold bar highlights today's date and medications. Overdue doses are highlighted in red. You can change the date range and time intervals. Medication list shows the subset of orders dealing with medications. Overview provides another more text-based view into the patient's record. The patient information page provides demographic information about the patient, information about specific encounters, and the patient-provider relationship information. The visit list tab provides information about the patient's emergency contact, next of kin, and insurance. The PPR Summary tab is a provider summary and audit trail. The Problems and Diagnoses page shows a patient's current diagnosis and problem list. A diagnosis is the reason for the patient's current encounter. A problem is a chronic condition that may impact the patient's care. Reference Text Browser allows you to order patient education materials. However, this is usually taken care of during the DPART process. Results Review provides an interactive view of the patient's vital signs, lab results, pathology, and other key pieces of information. The Vital Signs tab shows the patient's vital signs for the specified date range. Right-click on the header bar and select Change Search Criteria to change the date range. Normal results display in blue, high or low results display in black, and critical results display in red. You can graph a result by clicking on the checkbox for the result and then clicking on the graph icon. You can graph one or multiple results.
Click on the blue hyperlink on the radiology page to view the radiology report. Click on the view image icon, the movie screen, to view the image. Brown's report provides a static view of the patient data. Chart search allows you to perform a structured medical concept search of patient charts in a Google-like way. Select the time period, then enter the word or phrase to search for. Chart search will perform a word search and a concept search. If you enter heart attack, it will also search for myocardial infarction. Click on search. You can make more complicated searches using Boolean operators such as AND, OR, and NOT. Congratulations, you have completed this module.